It's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about malicious files and how they can infect your computer. There's a variety of files out there on the internet and each of them has their own designation, but some of those files can infect your computer. Some are good and some are bad. Let's take a look at files on a Windows based computer and see how you can avoid ones that are bad. Here we are, we have a Windows based computer. Uh, let's go into our files. So files are broken into several categories. You got files that are designed for documents. Those files are normally in Word format. So they would have an extension of DOC uh, as you can see on some of these documents right here. Uh, other file extensions that you have available, uh, you've got them for pictures. So let's open up a picture. Most of your pictures are JPG format. Uh, sometimes there's a TIFF format, but nine times out of 10, they're gonna be JPG. Uh, for videos, they're either gonna be movie files or, MPV, or MP4 files, as you can see in the list of files here. Another file format you've got, music. Music are your MP3 files. We can get past my vast collection of music and get to the actual extensions. And we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. We're in the T's, U's, V's, and here we go. MP, MP3 files are your music files. Now, finally, there's your executable files, uh, which is, uh, for this one, would be mal Malwarebytes, and it's an EXE file. Now, the problem with EXE files is that sometimes a virus come in, can come in as an EXE file. So sometimes hackers will hide these file extensions. So for example, you may see a file called malwarebytes.exe, or you may get a JPEG or a music file that has the EXD extension on it, but it may be hidden. So what you have to do on a Windows computer to make sure that you can have all those file extensions shown is a pretty easy thing to do. So once you're in a folder, what you can do is go to file extensions, click on that check mark, and it'll enable all the file extensions so you can make sure that the files that you're clicking on are legitimate. What you want to avoid is any file, especially if you get it as an attachment from a friend or a file on the internet that has this extension .exe. Again, that's an executable file that if you double click on it, it'll run a program. So in this instance, if we click on this program, it'll start Malwarebytes anti-malware. But in the case of a virus, you won't get that alert. It'll just pop up and infect your computer with a virus. So it's very important that you pay attention to your extensions and make sure that in Windows, you've got the file name extensions checked so that you can find out what files you actually have on your computer. So what can you do also to avoid some of these things other than uh, revealing your file extensions? Uh, number one, you wanna always make sure that you've got security software installed on your computer. So in this instance, we want to run Avast antivirus. Uh, but you can also download other programs such as Trend Micro, Norton. Uh, but as long as you've got antivirus software installed, you're in good shape. The next thing you want to remember is um, you don't want to download attachments via email. That's uh, very important. So be careful which files you download when you get an attachment from a friend. Uh, the best thing to do is to not download those attachments at all. And finally, you just want to use common sense. Uh, it makes perfect sense that you can receive files from friends, but you just have to be careful what types of files that you want to get from your friends. So hopefully this tip helps you out. As always, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. 
to check out more great tech tip videos, check us out on YouTube at Integral Onsite and Online Tech Support. And we're all over social media, so you can check us out there. Uh, we're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, and Twitter. And as always, take care of yourselves and do many things to make you smile. Thanks for watching.